All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below, as usual. This video is entitled Can Liberalism Work? I say no. I'll tell you why. Liberal ideologies, some, some liberal ideologies, I can't name them all, right? Um. I can't see them taking, uh, if like liberalism took over, I think it'd be chaos. And I'm more of a conservative, I'm more, I'm a conservative, but I believe that in general, liberalism has no boundaries. It's just more, 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 more until there's nothing left, okay? So this is my issue with liberalism. Say The socialism part of it Big government You know The government can't just give you money for everything all the time You can't sustain a society Where the government gives you money all the time Because You know Then it then then it, it, it stumps out The work ethic Of the Citizens of a nation You know and it breeds laziness. I, I, and what I mean by that is this. You know, if you're overweight, obese, you hit a certain weight, you can get Social Security. The government pays for the rest of your life because you've eaten yourself into obesity, right? So now you get paid to be obese. You get paid to stay obese. So now you don't work, but you eat all day. And the government, and since you're on disability, the government in some ways has to foot the bill on your medical expenses. And that doesn't get people to lose weight. That don't give them, that that doesn't get people off of the you know, off of the the food on the treadmill on the track, um, bettering themselves. It worsens the situation. So it's a problem, you know. When you think about other countries, like, don't get me wrong, capitalism is rigged, it is fixed, but there is a, but there's a certain amount of pride that you know, even if you have adversities, you can go out there and get it, you know? Um, even if people are, uh, uh, are sabotaging, sabotaging your success, you can still go out there and get it in spite of their sabotage. It's going to make it exponentially harder, but it's not impossible. Improbable, not impossible. That in itself gives people the ability to work. You know, but socialism doesn't necessarily do that because everybody got everything coming to them and nobody has to do anything. You don't have to work on self-improvement to be a better person. You know, that's an issue. Um... We could talk about <clears throat> they, they they link um, the homosexuality with um, liberalism. Same-sex couples can't produce children. That's just what it is. I mean, so there will be no future generations if you don't have heterosexual couples to reproduce. And part of the no boundaries is the simple fact that, you know, to push the agenda of homosexuality <clears throat> and then ha and it, it go from you know in the 80s um AIDS was a, a gay man's disease but also in the 80s early 90s they 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 thought gay people were known to have more money because they didn't have kids now you got gay people who are in same sex relationships who would have sex with Lesbians who are gay women to create children for a same sex couple. And this is what happens when you have no boundaries. You know, you want people going in the bathrooms with the same, no, I mean, with the opposite sex because they feel a certain way. You got people pushing this, this, this sexuality on children, which is just asinine and ridiculous. So it's a problem. It's a problem because. If it's about homosexuality, it's about having sex with the same sex, then why are you reproducing 
with the opposite sex and then saying it's it's too ridiculous. You know, so- social activism is why liberalism is not sustainable. I'll tell you what I mean by that. People have to get out in the streets and be activists about the unfairness of society. But the politicians, judges, and lawyers are not doing anything to change these laws. So, if liberalism was to take over, nothing would get changed. It would just be a bunch of protests. Because there are people in position to, able to, to change laws. They were people in positions to change laws, and they didn't. they rather protest a law instead of change it. And that's an issue. That's a, that's a, that's a cross-the-board issue uh, with, with liberal behavior. You know, that is so bad. That is so bad. What are we going to do about it? Nothing. So, how, you know, how does that maintain a society? How does that maintain order and structure in society if ultimately the rules are we're going to cater to the people according to our feelings and there are no rules because we won't make rules that are fair for everybody or change rules that are unfair for people? So this is why I don't think, you know, it's, it's, it's a good ideology. Um, when they talk about the social systems and welfare, I mean, that's the same thing I, I meant earlier as far as, you know, helping out people who don't want to help themselves. I don't have a problem with social programs and social helping and government helping individuals who want to help themselves. But, you know, liberalism has a, has a way of of catering to people who won't help themselves you know um and i will say this um conservatives who might agree with what i'm saying right now i get it and if you take the thing i just said about like the wealth socialism and welfare and you connect that and you start bringing up my people i'm I'm just gonna warn you by saying this um you conservatives or liberals when it happens to white people that's what that's what it is you know now everybody needs treatment and needs to and needs to circumvent going to jail. All these laws are too hard and too stringent. We need, you know, we need liberal mindsets when it happens to white people. So y'all full of it too, okay? Y'all full of it. You know, it's, it's only con- it's conservatives when it when it put money in your pocket. Is is you you're liberal when you got to face the consequences everybody else does. So we see that a mile away. Um, but. Just had to put that put that out there. Move on to the next. Um, the religious thing. You have like liberalism has an issue with pushing the envelope with religion. I'm not. I'm more of into spirituality than religious dogma, but liberalism in sense in liberalism likes pushing the envelope of things. And religion is a touchy, touchy subject for some people, for most people who are religious. So to constantly chip away at people's religious practices and their dogma and the things that they feel like make their life meaningful because you feel like it should change because you want to do whatever you want to do, it's a problem. Um, major, major problem. Because now... You know, the liberalism that you practice doesn't respect other people's um, experiences and opinions. It's, oh, you know, it, it, it's it's this tr- trying to social engineer doing whatever you want. Chaos, anarchy. And it's not cool, you know. And on the flip side, if there are no rules and everybody gets to do whatever they want... And then all of a sudden, you know, as liberals, you can't handle everybody doing whatever they want. Uh, Thus, you know, part of the issue with the gun control. I get, in my opinion, you know, everybody doesn't need a a, a boatload of guns. But but I get people do need to protect themselves. And liberalism's want to act like, you know, oh, it's all good. No, it's not all good. This is America. This is a murderous nation. You're going to need guns to protect yourself. It is what it is. At some point, you don't... Now, you don't need to go around starting stuff with people, but the way this country's set up, you disarm everybody? Hmm. 
Watch what happens. Then other countries will come here and take this suck over. And then you're going to be mad because you're not going to see it coming because you don't want us to, to, defend, to defend that ideology. And, and to believe that this country wouldn't get overran if we put the guns away is ridiculous because we've done so, this, this, this government has done so much dirt worldwide. If we ever did that, they're waiting on the day to kill us all. Because of how many people this country has collectively killed over hundreds of years. So that's stupid. So would that ideology work long term? I don't think so. Um, and I already said fiscally it's not a good idea. Because uh, you just, you know, just not a good idea. Um, but ultimately, because I'm going to get out of here because I got some things to do. Ultimately, liberalism has no boundaries, no bounds, no stopping point. You know, everything, you know, too much of anything is a bad thing. And that's what liberalism is. Liberalism, liberalism is so liberal, it doesn't know when to stop being liberal and, 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 and be moderate. You ain't got to be conservative, be moderate. There's no such thing as moderate in liberalism to, to a degree you, because you keep pushing the envelope until it ain't nothing left. And then when there's chaos and anarchy, you're like, what happened? That's why I don't think the ideology works long term for a nation. We out.